Hey, what's going on guys? So cracking on to actually just finalize our title slash graphics section, we're going to be kicking off with a final quick exercise of just to kind of reaffirm in your brain these simple animated titles and overall creating a nice animated sequence um, with just a few different words on screen. So we're actually going to go about uh, deleting all of this right here and we're going to be creating a uh, my name is text sequence. So the way I'm going to do that is drag any brand new basic title just to start from and uh, the, 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 fir the first text that I want to put in here is going to be my name is um, well, we can start off with just my name, go ahead and center that, and pop this in some new fonts. So, I'm just going to be random here and pick a completely random one. Oh, that, that kind of looks cool for our example. And throw that into the middle. Um, and in fact here, I just want to go ahead and remove name actually, and just have my. So, if we go ahead and bring this up to maybe 125 as well, make sure I've centered that with my align and transform. And now we just have one piece of text that simply says my. And what I actually want to do here is do a variety of different animation, right? So maybe uh, one of them drops down, pops in, all sorts of different kind of cool stuff, okay? So with the my, I think I want to maybe piece this together first. So with the my, I might cut this off so that it is a, uh, a one second piece. Um, let's go back here, make this one second. Just go ahead and cut this off. Just go ahead and hold alt and just duplicate this. So, it, like, how many pieces would, uh, of, of text uh, would we need? That's what I would figure out. So, it would be my name is Jack. So, it would be just a nice another two pieces of text here. I could actually highlight both of these and hold Alt to double duplicate. And now we simply have four pieces of text. Currently, they all say my. But for me, I want, to, um, I want them to say different things. So, obviously, my is going to pop up first. Then it's going to pop up with name. And then it's going to pop up with is, and then finally it'll pop up with my name as Jack. So it is going to go a little something like this. My name is Jack. So what I want to do is animate this on, animate it off, animate it on, animate it off, animate it on, animate it off, and do that to all of these particular things right here, but in a way that we have yet to do combining some of the stuff. Here. So first off, I've yet to show you a little bit of rotation here. So what I would do for this middle clip is, uh, or for this first clip rather, is actually just go ahead and find the center point. So I believe that will be 15 milliseconds and go ahead and add the rotation to be zero at that middle point. But then I could actually go back here and just twist this around a bunch of times. So this has almost like a spin effect on screen. In fact, I might even bring that um, down a little bit just so it's a little bit less crazy but that it definitely does spin on screen and I would also combine this maybe with jumping to the middle putting the scale on 100 and actually just upping that a bunch right so we could actually up that to maybe a thousand so that is gonna have the effect of spinning onto the middle of the screen so it's gonna go like that spinning onto the middle of the screen and then what I want is a very quick exit off of the screen so boom spins onto the screen and then it should last for a second in fact I, I might actually make all of these um, a little bit bigger than I had previously thought so we might have it enemy on like that stay for a second and then um, go ahead and position that and just go and put this off of screen so this will spin on and then zoom off and in fact I actually might have this come in in so that at the very center of this clip right here which would be that I believe we could have it have just hit just hit on from this side over here okay so if we drag that all the way over there um, now if we give this a play that is going to come on whoo, come in from the exact same place I just need to make this bigger and make that um, make this two not just one so now if we give this a play zooms in flies off comes on screen with my name or with, yep, my comes in, comes off, comes back, name, and then actually I'm gonna, I'm gonna repeat the same thing where it now um, adds another keyframe here and is going to drop down here and then the next piece of text simply comes up, but I want, I want to make that a little bit quicker. Boom. And the next piece of text we're gonna bring over um, and we do have to make this two. And let's actually just go ahead and make that under, that under one two as well, just throw that over here. But Boom, if give this play, this zooms on, comes in, goes down, and this is, 
is gonna we, we need to go to the middle here I believe that's damn near the middle that's the middle right there go ahead and add that on and just go ahead and bring this guy down here so it's gonna have the appearance of of uh, this name text drop into the floor and then the is is coming straight up however it looks like this guy is operating a nice bit faster than this one so we need to bring this over here I, I i did that at double the dimension so if we give this a play so far my is gonna shoot in shoot off name drops down comes up with the is and now jack we need to bring jack on screen in a very cool way i think the is the is is going to actually drop out so the uh, scale is going to go down i, I, I want to put one marker here go a little bit towards the end just make that zero Pop that there so it's actually going to come down. In fact, I want to make that a little bit quicker so it sort of shoots down. And then the jack, I want the uh, the appearance of the jack shooting upwards nice and quickly. So we would go in a few frames, add that scale, go to the end, and add that on a zero. So now if we give this end bit here play, the is drops out while the jack comes in. And then I could indeed actually have it um, repeating the beginning animation and just kind of rotating outwards um, with the scale as well so we could actually up that scale to 1000 oh not 100 1000 just like it was and get that rotation going a little bit crazy as well and just go ahead and put these two guys right there at the end line this up and now we, if we were to give this whole sequence a play it's going to rotate inwards drop out my name is going to pop in then the is is going to pop in then it's going to pop out to jack and then it's going to actually go back out again. In fact, I'm going to repeat that tactic I showed you guys about the render in and out to get this nice and good quality with no lag. And let's go ahead and have a little look at our animated title sequence. The my name pops up, drops down for is, and then it's going to go down for Jack. And then that Jack is going to fly back out. Very cool little simple animated title sequence just to reaffirm some cooler little different ways of animating your text on screen. Overall, this has been a summary of the titles and graphics section with an Adobe Premiere Pro, and I look forward to teaching you guys more in the upcoming lectures.